Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing an updated makeup tutorial today. I've never gotten so many compliments on a makeup look. I'm gonna share with you guys what I do, why it's different, why I do it, and hopefully you like it. Okay, so I already primed my face. I used the Charlotte Tilbury and this Glossier Super Glow. This one first and then the Charlotte. I'm gonna be the one to say this. I don't really believe in primer. I think any moisturizer is fine. Charlotte Tilbury sent me this. I bought this Glossier at Sephora the other day because my makeup artist used it on me and it has vitamin C and magnesium. I'm like, that's good, right? So that's why I use that. Any foundation, again, you know your color. I think this application can make any foundation look good. The only thing that's annoying about it is the mess afterwards. So have like a damp little towel next to you. But I absolutely love how it looks. It's so seamless. It's just blended perfectly. What blends better than your own hand? I got the Pat McGrath Light Medium 9. Again, bought this at Sephora yesterday, two days ago. And then I got the Kosas. I love the Kosas because it has SPF in it. Did you guys hear that thing that Kosas is um, like mold in their stuff because it goes bad so quick? So you gotta use it up quick. So I did two pumps of the Pat McGrath, two pumps of the Kosas. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. I've been loving the slick back bun look or like slick back pony, whatever the event is. I just feel like it looks professional. It's just been a minute since I've washed my hair. You're like, yeah, Kat, we can tell. <laughs> I don't like talking negatively about brands, but I wanna be honest with you guys because if you're gonna be spending your money on this, you gotta know. Some people are very particular in how their makeup smells. Kosas does not smell good to me. I think it smells the worst to me, but I still use it which is a testament to how good the product is. But if you are like a smell person and you'll get, not, I'm not saying you're gonna get sick from it, but I'm saying it is, it doesn't smell pleasant. Let's just say that. I like to kind of bring it down to the neck. I'm going to clean my hands. Press the process, people. I like having it as my base. Some people do eyebrows and eyes first and then foundation. I found this to be easier for me because sometimes I mess up my eyes if I do foundation after. So all I do now is I clean off the foundation from my brows so I can do them correctly. I think eyes and brows are definitely the most tedious parts of makeup to do, but they are the most important. I think they've changed how my makeup looks. Oh, and by the way, the Kosas is a light medium neutral. Oh, it's a light medium with neutral yellow undertones. Next step, we're gonna start on brows. Brows can literally change the shape of your face. I've been doing so much better maintaining my brows. Tweezer Man, I think it's like a 20 to $30 tweezer. I've been using it for over a year and let me tell you, it's worth every penny. Some things are just worth investing in. If you have a shitty tweezer, then it'll just take out the hair and break it. It won't take it out of the root. I hate that. So make sure you have a good tweezer. I use the Anastasia, the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. It's just a little gel. I'm sure you could honestly use hair gel. And then I just brush my little and also, most of my brushes are all from Amazon. They're very cheap. The ones that I kind of do sparge on, I like a good sponge, and I like a good like bronzing blending brush. Now I'm brushing my brows up, and I like to have a little pair of scissors handy in case I need to trim anything to really make it like a clean, clean look. I think eyes are the gateway to the soul, and the brows are the gates. So, it matters. But so while this freezes up, I'm gonna get my color ready, soft brown, Anastasia. And I used to use the Ash Blonde, not for me. It was too light, I had to embrace my dark brows. I'm just gonna dab a little beep boop beep boop. I wanna make sure that the bottom line of the brow is so straight, like it's one smooth line up from the bottom. Let me show you what I mean. And just kind of line, line out that bottom. So once the bottom's done, I'm gonna go in on the top, just kind of make it all connect. The bottom is the most important part. If you can get that, you can literally just leave the top, it's fine. I just like touching it up because I have a little bit less hair on that arch. So I've messed with it so much. I just like filling it in. And now this is the fun part. I use this little like flat brush. I did buy this on Amazon as well. It was like five bucks for like a pack of three different ones. And we're gonna use our concealer. I love Tarte the light neutral 22N. We're just gonna do a little boop and just kind of define the brow. I like to do a little boop at the bottom 
And then any leftover concealer, I'll bring it up to the top. Again, with the foundation, you wanna draw that straight line. Look at that. That looks so great, you guys. I'm obsessed, that looks beautiful. Okay, same thing on the other eye. Ah! Okay, brows done. We love it. Now that the brows are done, I'm gonna dab a little bit of setting powder around the eyebrows. Oh, also this is Jaclyn Hill's Sheer Fair. Next, we're gonna do our eyes. We are gonna dab some concealer on our eyelids. Ooh, ooh. Just to have as a base for our eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this like flat, thin brush. And I am just gonna blend the concealer on my eyelid, like under the brow a little. And this is just gonna provide a nice neutral base for our eyeshadow. I love doing this because you don't realize you might have a little bit of mascara from yesterday maybe. Your lids may be a little darker. You might wanna use a lighter uh, eyeshadow. So doing this will ensure that it pops up the way it's supposed to. This one we're gonna set now. And I'm doing this because it just really helps, it really helps the eyeshadow stay on. I use the Jaclyn Hill, sometimes I use the Givenchy, sometimes I use $5 one I got on Amazon. You know, it just, it's literally what's in front of me. Do not feel like you have to go out and buy all brand new products. I think it's honestly just utilizing what you have with technique and intent. The palette I'm using is Sigma Ambiance. It comes with a brush. <laughs> the first thing I like to do is get my bronzer. I use the Mario Medium Dark. I dip like this fluffy triangle into the bronzer part. And just like a windshield wiper, I'm gonna go under the brow just to provide a base for the rest of the eyeshadow. Literally like windshield wiper motion, back and forth, not on the lid, just right under that brow. Just to show dimension between the brow and the eye. See, just like that. Okay. Perfect. This one's called the sweeper. I just like pressing whatever glittery base I want on my lid. I'm gonna do Firefly and Luster. What helps guide me is when I look back, whatever I didn't paint with the umbrella swipe is what I fill in with my base for the lid. I always do glitter because my eyes are brown, so I like kind of popping it a little bit with a little glitter glitter, but it's like very tasteful glitter. It's not like a rave. Once that's on, I again go with my bronzer, use this one. And now I'm just gonna not go past the iris of my eye. I'm literally gonna just stay here and kind of just do like a little back and forth motion. This triangle. Again, this is gonna add dimension to the eye, especially the ends if you wanna do like a cat eye or when you add your lash. And this is just gonna be the base for the uh, darker brown we're gonna do. Let's do Enrich in this palette. It's just a dark brown. And I'm gonna do that a little more limited on this corner like up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. This is kind of where I would do a thinner brush and do my under eye line, but I find that I don't really like doing that before concealer. I like to do it after. So that'll be one of the last steps when we wrap up. And then with any leftover you have on your brush, swoop it around to blend it a little better. And voila, s'il vous plaît mon chéri. Okay, so that looks great. Now I'm gonna use a brown liner just so it's not so harsh on the eye in the beginning. I have the Jaclyn Hill Black Smooth Black Brown, and we're just gonna line the top very thin. This is just gonna set the base for our lash if we're gonna apply lashes, which I always do. Now I'm gonna do my lash. So I have this, it's like an eyelash an applicator. I don't use it, I'd much rather use, I use my tweezers. It just holds it firmer and I like to get a better grip piece by piece, not so much chunks because it's a flat and my eye curves. So I'm gonna get my two lashes. I am definitely a lash reuser. These are the Kiss Wispies. I think this is my fifth time using it. It's just like, why not? Like save money. <laughs> this is their last go though. We'll see. Remember, gateway to the soul, this is the soul. I use my duo glue, it's all beaten up because CJ got a hold of it. I like to do a thin line, like, let me show you, like right there. Oh, I didn't, did I show you? Right there. So I literally just did a thin glue line. Now I'm gonna put the glue on the lash, a nice even strip, 
they dry a bit, then we apply. I like doing it just because sometimes I get nervous that the lash will come off if I'm wearing it all day. So that little extra layer just adds, just adds that reassurance. The drying is important. I used to not dry back then when I knew nothing. Just make sure the lash and the falsies kind of get close. That's the first lash. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the dry. Right, that's literally perfect. Okay, she works good under pressure. Once that has been applied, I literally will use any mascara. I don't like the Milani mascara. That's the only one I use where it just kind of smudged everywhere. This is the Pelo Talk Push Up Lashes one. It blends the real lash with the falsies. It provides a nice adhesive for the eyelash curler. Eyelash curlers. This is Kevin Alcoin. Acoin? Alcoin? A best eyelash curler I've ever used. It's on like um, Allure's Hall of Fame. It's amazing. This one is by far the best. It just doesn't connect to the lashes or the mascara. It's just phenomenal. Don't just squeeze once and be done with it. Really squeeze around a few times, get a feel for it, and voila. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. I put something down. It's like I put it in a random spot. I don't know why I do that. Wow, perfect. Ah! Oh! I love it when they go on so good. My camera died. I'm not used to filming videos this long. Now we are going to contour. I love contour. Do, do. What really helps with like the arch, like the cat eye look, connect it. It's like if I'm grabbing my eye and doing a little whoop. I like to line the, I'm like, I've never verbalized doing my makeup like this. This is so detailed for me. But we're gonna get the hang of it. We're gonna get the hang of it. I like lining the corner of my lip and like drawing, 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 and then here, bring it up. So here, drawing, 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 here, bring it up. I like to bring it up like around the end of my eye so it doesn't go too in. Next, I'm gonna use the Fenty Cream. This is the Fenty Strawberry Drip. Before we add the concealer, I'm gonna dampen my blender brush. It's already a little bit damp with some water, but I like to spray the Hadali, don't know how you say it, mist. Just give it a nice little <laughs> Now we're gonna blend this in. <laughs> this died three times already, okay? So we're gonna do this really fast. There's no time to waste as I look at my phone and read it next. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm using my Tarte Concealer 22N here, here, and then here. Perfect. I also like to add it, so you know I did the one up here for the bronzer. I like to do a little bit down here. There. I like doing one side at a time. I feel like if it dries too long, it doesn't go on the same. So here we go. This is just a sign from the universe to hurry the fuck up. Okay, see that looks so smooth and phenomenal. Wow. I'm obsessed. I never thought I'd be that girl that like looks at her, how she does her makeup and it's like, I'm obsessed. The girl. Be that bitch, still be that bitch. Huh. Uh, uh. Repeat. Good God, I'm scared this is gonna die. Okay. And I like to do quick and fast, but also press very light. The harder you press, the more product gets onto the Sponge. With concealer, I've just always found it's best to do it right away. Don't let it dry. Let it dry after you blend it so it can dry in the places you like. And then we have up here like our um, the bronzer we did up here. So that just kind of looks like a natural eyeshadow, which I love. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to spray my face, like douse it. I was going to do setting spray, but I like the... Hold on, let me get it. Okay, so first I do a base of the Caudalie. Just as the first one. And then I go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. So high school of me. Now we let this dry. I will be right back. Okay guys, we're gonna do the rest of this on my phone because I don't wanna feel like this thing's about to die. It's a very old camera. That's probably why it's not working. I had the nicer one, but then the audio on that one wasn't really coming out very good. <sighs> okay, so again, this is a very like lifted look. That's why I love it. After the spray has dried, really dried, you're going to get your setting powder. Right now is the Jaclyn Sheer Fair I have in here. I use literally anything. I also have L'Oreal in here. The one from Amazon. Dab. And then I like 
scrape it off, dab it so it's not so clumpy. And then here's the trick. You press evenly. Press evenly, just like that. We're gonna do it on this side. Take off the excess. I never liked taking off the excess. I thought I was wasting it. I promise you guys, you are not wasting it. You're actually saving it because you are using less, but getting more out of it. I use the same technique for any spots in my face that I see texture that I wanna lighten up a little bit. And oh, I just love, love this look so much, like so much. Okay, now that that's all blended, I'm gonna go in with my eyes. I love the Stila Stay All Day, but right now I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Ink 24 hour because I just bought it the other day at Sephora. And now here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the inner lining just do a straight line and kind of line the top of the band. So now I have that inner corner look, but it's fresh because I'm doing it after I've done my setting powder, which is a big deal. And if you want a little more dramatic look, I would go under the eye and kind of like bring it up here. Maybe use a little bit of brown eyeshadow to do that with the thinner brush. Now the next step I like to do, add a little makeup by Mario. Just use the whole thing in here. Just kind of blend anything I'm missing. This looks so cute to me. Ah! Okay, now the last step is my favorite step. We're gonna use a little bit darker today. We're gonna be using Wise. Wise from the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty. Okay, so this is overlined just a little bit. This is the Wise lipstick. Mm, it's so dark. I really love this. Like. Like what? So now I'm gonna blend this all after I add a little bit of highlighter. This is the Maracuja stick from Dart. I like to add a little here and here and just kind of dab, dab, dab. And then I like to add some on the arches of my brows and again, blend with the fingers for a natural look. And then the last one I'll do, I like the Tarte Champagne Glow. I also like the Charlotte Tilbury. Kind of Use this little wet and wild flat brush. Do it here on the side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then, okay, I'm gonna blend everything. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip gloss. This is Maybelline. I love the Dior and I love the Maybelline. And we're done. Sorry I had to finish on the phone. Thank you for watching. I have a Zoom call I have to get on right now, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what you think.